JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, today's topic is very simple. You know, listen, everybody here is talking about, oh man, Mexican this, Mexican that, you know, Donald Trump this, Donald Trump that. But let's bring it back to technology and let's bring it back to like, you know, something real. Okay. So here in the US, everybody knows this. Nobody wants to put in the work. And some of you guys are guilty of that too. And you know it. Come on, don't lie. But we all want to get paid a lot of money. We all want to have fun while doing it, right? And here in the US, it has become a, a thing of like everybody wants to be the next Kim Kardashian. Everybody wants to be the next Karuchi. Everybody wants to be the next, uh, I don't know whatever artist, whatever, you know, LeBron James, whatever um, basketball player, football player, whoever's out here getting money just by playing ball or being an actress or being an actor, whatever you want to, to say. Basically, celebrities, right? So everybody here in the U.S., they want to become celebrities. Everybody wants to be famous. And everybody wants money, but nobody wants to put in that work. Now, what happens there? A lot of people go to school to basically study things like uh, philosophy, psychology, uh, you know, music theory, and a whole bunch of shit that in the real world out here don't get you no money, don't get you anywhere. So to say that, um, basically, I have this article here where basically Tesla is looking for engineers in Mexico because the demand for you know engineers in the US is is really big but then there's not that many there's not that many supply of the you know engineers in here at all like you know compared to other countries where you know you go to India you go to China you go to Japan you go to uh, Germany you know, there's a whole bunch of people studying, you know, math and sciences. Here in the U.S., nobody wants to study that. We all hate math, and I'm guilty of that, too. Sorry. Um, But, yeah, and to me, it's just funny that, you know, people will be like, oh, my God, we can't. We shouldn't be hiring nobody from other countries and to come here and take our jobs and this and that. And to one extent, I agree with them. There's enough people in the United States to be able to uh, work any job here in the U.S. But the problem is that there's not that many people that are qualified. There's not that many people who want to put in that work. Everybody wants to get the easy route. So in in that situation, this is what happens. You know, a great American company, which can you even call Tesla an American company when, you know... Elon Musk is South African. So is he, is that an American company? I don't know. You know what I mean? But cars are made here in California. Uh, a lot of the pieces made all over the world, like every iPhone and everything else in the world, you know, because of free market. But this just, you know, it just always brings it up. Like, hey, nobody wants to put in that work. So there's not that many engineers here, you know, even for web developers, there's, you know, there's a high demand for the web developers, but can all those jobs be filled? No, not really, because nobody wants to come here and put in two, three months of busting their ass and learning this thing. And it's like, I tell you guys, you know, even when I do the, the Rocky stat and I create all the tutorials, I notice it. I get like this video alone probably will get. I don't know, a thousand, maybe a couple of thousands of views. But then a tutorial, which is you learning something and you having to put in the work, most people won't watch it. Nobody wants to put in the work. They want to know what's the easy answer. What's the easy way to get money? What's the easiest way to get a job? What's the easiest way to get uh, promoted on a job? But nobody's looking for the real answer, which is just do your job, bust your ass, and you're going to get there, you know, and also be smart because sometimes 
doing all the work doesn't mean that's going to guarantee you something. You have to use your brain, you know? It's like uh, plenty of people who basically, I've read this plenty of times online, and I see comments like, oh, I got a computer science, and this and that, but I can't find a job. I'm like, bro, like, where are you looking for? Like, if you're looking for a job and you can't find it on your area, go to the next town, find it over there, or go to the next city, find it over there. Because the jobs are there. If you, you're you not getting a job, it's your fault, to be honest with you. The jobs are really right there. And companies are hiring people that are not even qualified. Because they're like, okay, cool, this person knows a little bit of HTML and CSS. And then we're just going to hire them directly to you know a company. And it's like, you know, they'll learn once they get here. They'll learn in the next two, three months. We'll give them training. But they're not even qualified. A lot of the people, you know, that's who always bring up boot, uh, boot camps, but a lot of the people that come out of boot camps are not even qualified. And then some of them do get high, high paying jobs. And then once they get there, the company basically is, is taking a, a risk of like, yeah, this person's going to come here. We're going to train them for the next three to six months. You know, the boot camp gave them three months. We're going to give them another six months of training here, learning small projects. You know, for the long term, this person could stay here with us. Do people really stay? Eh, not really. But a lot of these companies are taking risks because there's not that many people who are qualified to take these jobs. So, you know, reading this thing where it's like, hey, like a whole bunch of engineers went over there. And, and not for nothing, like I, I'm from Dominican Republic. And when you say, hey, I'm an engineer or I'm studying engineering or I'm doing something, you know, like let's say engineering or architect or anything with like math and science, people, you know, respect them. Like, oh, wow, this person is a, you know, an engineer or my son is starting to become an engineer or something like that, right? Here in the U.S., I don't even see that. I don't even see that at all from people like being smart. It's not it's not cool. And that's one of the reasons why I made this channel was like, hey, man, you could still be cool. Still come in here, hit them with the swag. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hit them with the swag and just do you, but still be be smart and still uh, do something positive. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't have to be a basketball player. You don't have to be a Instagram dot. You don't have to be a bartender. You don't have to be a stripper. You don't have to be a drug dealer. You don't have to be... Uh, freaking basketball player. You don't have to be a football player. Well, you don't have to be X whatever. You fill it in, right? All the bullshit that everybody wants to be here in the U.S., you don't have to be that to live a comfortable life because most of the people who live comfortably, they're not basketball players. They're not Instagram dots. They're not none of those things. They're just... You know, the regular guy, the regular dentist, or the regular doctor who just, you know, he makes like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year, you know, drives a little Tesla, um, has his kids in private schools, chilling while, you know, some of us is out here trying to be a basketball player. So I wanna be a a baller, I wanna play ball. That's what I wanna do. When I grow up I just wanna play ball. And in reality, man, you fuck up your, your knee, you fuck up your ankle. Your career's done. You didn't even go to college. You didn't do nothing. You didn't have for plan B. Now you're over here at Walmart. You know what I mean? So I made this video because it's like, you know, people's going to talk about, oh, we shouldn't hire people from outside of the country. But it's, it's not that we shouldn't hire them. It's that we have to now because nobody else is studying this, this topics, this, this degrees, this, uh, you know, the skills that you need for the new economy, which is technology. And yeah, that's a big problem in the U.S. Anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it to people. Make sure you show love. Your boy is back. I done did it again. And listen, man, if you really ready to just like take it to the next level, Go through my, my channel. On every video I put in the description, uh, basically courses that I took to make me a web developer, make me the person who I am today. And I will say, just go ahead, man. Take those courses. 
and then even from there come back to the channel go through my my website codingface.com slash resources i will also add other courses that i i believe in that i know are good and you could take a lot of benefits out of them and basically they're like my hand-picked you know editor's choice type of courses courses that i know work you know for various topics all right guys make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video I'm out. Bye.